Welcome to this video from the Science Health Update series. The series in which, we explore the latest biological and medical discoveries related to general health, lifestyle, diet, and habits. Aspartame, the wonder sweetener. A low-calorie alternative to sugar, it adds delightful sweetness to your favorite treats without the guilt. Experience its intense flavor, 200 times sweeter than table sugar. But, a quick Google search reveals a flurry of news on its alleged cancer link. So, join us to dive into the facts and myths surrounding this controversy. It all started in 1965 when a chemist named James Schlatter accidentally stumbled upon a sweet-tasting substance in his laboratory. Little did he know that this discovery would pave the way for the widespread use of aspartame as an artificial sweetener in thousands of products we consume every day. From diet sodas and sugar-free gum to ice cream and cough syrups, aspartame found its way into an incredible array of food items, creating a revolution in the way we enjoy sweetness without added calories. But in 2006, a study conducted by researchers at the Ramazzini Institute in Italy shook the aspartame world. They reported a possible link between aspartame and cancer, sparking concerns among consumers and health experts alike. The scientific community was divided. Some experts dismissed the study's findings, arguing that the tumors observed were not cancerous but rather inflammatory reactions. However, in 2021, the Ramazzini Institute study was re-evaluated using cutting-edge research techniques. The results were concerning, suggesting a correlation between aspartame exposure and cancer in animals. The International Agency for Research on Cancer IARC, stepped in to conduct its own review. They classified aspartame as a possible carcinogen, indicating that further research is needed to fully understand any potential risks to humans. So, where does that leave us? The Joint Expert Committee on Food Additives JECFA, maintained the acceptable daily intake of aspartame at 40 mg per kilogram of body weight. Rest assured, reaching this limit through regular consumption is challenging for most people. Moderation is key, and alternatives like potassium ace sulfame and saccharin provide other safe choices for sweetening your favorite treats. As we wrap up our exploration, remember to stay informed and make responsible choices when it comes to your diet. Consult with healthcare professionals if you have any concerns about artificial sweeteners, and focus on maintaining a balanced and enjoyable lifestyle. That's all for today's video. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.